the main one we're going to use on here is at the bottom left, the one with a K, which is Cody. So just highlight the Cody and press OK. Now when you do this, you'll see these TV add-ons come up and you'll then get this screen. This is Cody now loading. All right, so it takes a little while, not too long, maybe about 10 seconds to load up. Now, what you occasionally get is you'll get this little box come up, which tells you um, about TV add-ons and basically what it's about. Now, you'll notice if you try and use the remote control to get out of it, nothing happens. What you have to do here is you have to press on the remote control the mouse button. Press the mouse button, then move down, and you'll notice I've now got a little mouse cursor there. Move it by using the left and right keys. So that you highlight dismiss and then just press OK. That screen now disappears. You notice I've still got the little mouse cursor there and I'm moving it with the left and right keys. Just press the mouse button again. It will stay there, but if I move down, you'll notice that the cursor's gone. Yeah, and I can now go back to using the remote control as normal. So now this is your startup screen. So this is your Kodi homepage. So once you've gone into Kodi and it's, it's booted up, you will come to this page here. All right, now you'll notice on the left hand side where everything is scrolling, this is all the menus. Now don't be worry about how many menus there are because if you actually look at them, they all repeat themselves. So all it does is literally just roll round. Yeah, so there is, there's only a very few options there. If I start from quit, there's what add-ons, videos, movies, TV shows, favorite settings, and we're back to quit again. So they just revolve around. Now what it does, you'll notice that when I move the arrow up, move using the up and down keys, that they go red. Whatever's red is what is highlighted. So the first one we're gonna go into is favorites. So highlight it in red, press OK. Now this will give you um, a screen with all different, basically, channels that you can use to go and view videos, TV shows, what have you. Now, don't worry if your one doesn't look exactly like this. What they do look like is it depends how many channels I find when I set the box up. So sometimes I find new ones and I add new channels but you will have basically, let's say, let's just call this a dashboard. So you're gonna have in this dashboard, you're gonna have a whole lot of different um, channels you can click on. Now the first one you've got up here is one called Clear Cash. Can you notice when I move them on the different channels that they highlight red? So whatever's red is the one I'm on. Clear Cash, what you will do is you will use this, just say once every two weeks. And all you literally do is just Highlight Clear Clash, press OK. You'll then get a message come up saying done clearing cache files. Press OK. And you'll get this menu here. Just press return. And it takes you back to your main Kodi dashboard. Again, I've got favorites, favorites highlighted. So I'll just press OK and go back in. Now you need to do that about once every two weeks. The reason behind that is, if you don't do it, you'll start to notice that your box will slow down. And as you're moving around, it won't be as responsive as this. So that's why you need to keep it clear every, every once every two weeks is fine. It just keeps the cache clear, which is where all the films are buffered to. So it keeps, it stops the memory from filling up. If you don't do it, you're gonna get to a stage where it will all fill up. And when you try to turn on Kodi, it will not come on at all. But in another video, I'll show you what you do if you ever get that problem. All right? Right, so what we're gonna do now is I'll show you how we select movies in Genesis. So for Genesis, I've highlighted it. You can see it's in red. So I press OK. We go into Genesis. So we've got movies, TV shows, not latest movies, latest episodes further down, but really you're just gonna use movies and TV shows. So we're going to movies. We're going to year, 
and then we can select 2016 and so on. We're going to go into 2016 because this has got all the latest movies. Now, what we get, we've got a list of movies all down on the right hand side, and then on the left, it gives us a brief description of the film so we can see what the film's about. Now, if I go down to a film on here, let's try this one, I press OK. I get loading and then what it's doing, you saw it come up, let me try a different one so I can show you because I've already selected this one. Let's try it. Uh, one I haven't done. We'll press OK. Uh, let's do it on that one as well. So I press OK and then you'll get this where it's looking for sources. So you'll see it, it's looking for sources. Don't press anything, just let it run. And what it will do, it will then come up with a list of sources for that film. So in here it's only found one source, so there's only one you can watch. Alright? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a film. What one did we just have? I'll go in here. So once you've selected it, it remembers what it's done and you see how quickly it's gone. So now you can see on the right hand side we've got a whole list of sources. Now what we've got is at the end of each of the sources you've got letters. You can see HQ, MQ, LQ. Now what this means is HQ is high quality, MQ is medium quality and LQ is low quality. Basically you're going to really want to go for something that's high HQ which is high quality. You also get another um, option there which is CAM, that's camcorder. So as its name suggests it's a cam camcorder job which is just in a, in a cinema. You'll also get one called HD which is high quality which we have here. Now HD will give you the best picture but the only problem with HD is that it's a lot of um, film to stream. So if I select HD, what I've got now is you see it says Genesis, no stream available. It means for that link it can't find anything. So I just go down to the next one, press OK. High quality is watchable. HD is obviously what you really want to get to get a nice sharp picture. But what you'll find, because there's so much film to come down, it will mostly buffer. And as you're watching, it will keep freezing. And basically what it is, it just means that you're watching the film as quick as it can come down. So I usually stick to just HQ, which is high quality. And usually you'll get a good film from there. Now as you can see it found a stream, so as it's found a stream it started playing the film. 